Over the last few years, with the emergence of all these Roundup resistant weeds around the country, many farmers have turned to Liberty Link soybeans. Today, we want to talk about whether or not that's a viable option, and if you are going to plant Liberty Link soybeans, how you should manage those differently than Roundup beans on your farm. You know, I think this is interesting too, Brian, because I talked to some farmers that say, I really didn't want to go Liberty Link soybeans, but I'm going to have to go that way. And I said, well, what do you mean? You got resistant weeds out there or what? Well, no, I was trying to hold out for the Extend or the Enlist beans, and they just don't get labeled. And Liberty Link beans are out there right now, and nothing else is working, so I'm going to go that way. And then they get into using Liberty, and it really works for them. You know, I think people got a bad taste in their mouth from Liberty way back, a long time ago, when it first came out, because we were trying to get by with such low rates, and we were trying to expect that product to work just like Roundup. It's not like Roundup at all. Liberty is probably the second best herbicide that's ever come out, but it's just not the first best. Roundup was the first best, now we've got Liberty. Liberty doesn't get down in the root system like Roundup does, so it doesn't kill those perennial weeds, root and all, like Roundup can. Outside of that, Liberty's a pretty nice herbicide, especially on these broadleaf weeds. Well, yes, it's just that you've gotta have those weeds relatively small. And actually, that's now kind of what we're seeing with Roundup, too. The weeds have to be small. If they're two to four inches, I feel pretty confident out there with Liberty. But if I'm after two to four foot tall weeds, it's probably not going to work very well. Here's the other thing. With Liberty, you're not going to go out there six times during the summer. You're going to have two shots at it. That's it, okay? Then you're going to bump up to, I, hey, I've used the maximum label rate for a growing season. So if I can only spray twice, unlike the three times many farmers were going with with Roundup, that means I have to use at least one pre-emerge herbicide, if not more. We still like the three pre-herbicide approach. We think that's the most economical for your farm. I'd for rather really, do for that. For really, for any soybean trait package. Right. We're going to say the same thing when Enlist comes out, when Extend comes out, whether you're using conventional soybeans, if you're in continuous soybeans, if you're in first year soybeans, the three pre-program is the best way to go. It sets you up for success in your soybean crop because you can wipe out about 99% of the weeds that you're going to see out in the field before they even come up. So whether you're using one, two, or three pre-emerge herbicides, you've got to get pre's on there immediately, early. If you don't do that, then you're going to struggle with Liberty weed control just like you're struggling with Roundup weed control today. So we just advise you make sure you get a pre on, then follow with Liberty relatively early when the weeds are small, then you've got one more shot, that's it. So this is where we do run into some problems with Liberty. If guys start using it just like Roundup, oh, I'm gonna spray three weeks after I planted, then I'm gonna spray four weeks after that. Well, you've got a lot of summertime left. So you've gotta kinda of hold back that Liberty so you can spray the last shot maybe just a little bit later. That means I need a really, really good pre-emerge herbicide program. All right, well, one of the big benefits and one of the big changes with the Liberty program this year is that they have rebates now, tie-in rebates with the Authority premixes of pre-herbicides. So you could use something like Authority MT which is one of my favorite pre-emerge products where you're getting two sites of action, then combine that in with a Treflan Sonland or Prowl, you've got your three sites of action pre, and they've got a pretty nice rebate program to tie in with the Liberty Link Seed. So the rebates tied with Liberty are $3 for the pre's, and then you can also use Anthem early post and get a $2 an acre rebate. So the big thing is, Bayer understands this too, they want you to get soil residual herbicides out there besides just Liberty. One other fear that many people have switching from one trait package to another is, hey, I got to plant totally different varieties than what I have been planting. I certainly understand that argument, and when we look at the Liberty Link varieties compared to Roundup Ready to Yield or conventional varieties, it's a toss-up as far as which ones are going to yield better. There are some Roundup 2s that are better than others. There are some Liberty varieties that are better than others. I look at varieties all across the country. I'm selecting Roundup Ready to Yield varieties and Liberty varieties for guys to plant easily from the group double zeros up into the group fives, personally looking at those plots. And I don't really see a whole lot of difference in terms of performance. Now, there may be some defensive traits that you can get in one package versus another. That's understandable. Yeah, if you really like one thing that is only available in one trait package or the other in your area, I get that. You may say, you know, I'm going to pick this one because it has root knot nematode resistance or because it handles stem canker better than another variety. But overall, the varieties are good in the Liberty Link system. You can feel confident. You can get maximum yield there too. Here are a couple last things I'd mention. First of all, Liberty as the herbicide can freeze. So you have to be a little bit careful where you're storing that over the winter time if you're in the north like we are. Whereas Roundup, we don't have to worry about that. Not a big deal, but still something you at least need to be aware of. And I guess the other thing is just to understand the Liberty soybeans typically are going to be less expensive than the Roundup soybeans, but Liberty herbicide costs more than Roundup. So the cost in total 
of each system is really pretty similar. Talking to an executive in the seed and trade industry, and he said, you know, we're going to see a lot of stacked traits coming very soon in soybeans as soon as extend and enlist get labeled. We're going to see HPPDs involved in other chemistries as well. And we'll also see Liberty get stacked with all these different trait packages, maybe as early as 2020. We'll see how that all works out. But the intention of most major trait providers is to stack Liberty in there as well. They see Liberty as a great herbicide that adds another shot of something different onto those tough Roundup resistant weeds. Well, Liberty does work well, but you know what? The Roundup system still works well too, if it's managed appropriately. So either way you go, we think you've got lots of good options and it may take those good options to control our weed of the week we'll tell you how to stop it on your farm coming up later in the show